say amen. 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 My rock, my sword, and my shield. Yes. Yeah. Amen. We ask you to stand as we go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. Again, that's the book of Isaiah. It's in the Old Testament. Amen. Starting in chapter, chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. And it reads, But there will be no gloom for her who was in anguish. In the former time he brought into contempt the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time he has made glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. Yeah. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of a tramping warrior in battle, tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burnt as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, yes. to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful yes. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Yes. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness. Yes. From this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Amen. Amen. You may, yes. as you go to your seats, let, it, let me give you a subject this morning, a reason for hope. Amen. All right now. A, a reason. Reason for hope. Amen. I don't know about you, but I look at this Christmas holiday uh -huh. as a season of hope. All right. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes. Now, Scripture defines hope as strong, confident All right. expectation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Some, something you can certainly look forward to happening. Yeah. I want to look in Scripture, the division of Psalms 30, verse 5. And in that you will find it says, weeping may endure for a night. Yes, Master. But joy, anybody know about that spiritual joy? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come in the morning. Yes, sir. Understand, that's a verse about hope. Yes. Yeah. And who can forget Daniel in the lion's den? Amen. All right. You remember it said that, 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 that Daniel's pews, his peers, mm -hmm. had tricked the king into signing an edict. Mm -hmm. That if anybody didn't worship the king at a certain time, that the, the judgment would be that they would be thrown into the lion's den. Uh -huh. The Bible said that, that, that the king liked old Daniel, but he had no choice. Yeah. And the Bible said he found out Daniel found himself because he was a faithful man to God. Uh -huh. He wasn't going to worship no anything, but he That's would right. worship the Father, God himself. All right. Found himself in a lion's den. Because of his faith. But the Bible said that the king went home and was wrestling all night long. And early, somebody said early. Early in the morning, the Bible said that the king ran out his house and ran to the den, the lion's den. And yelled when it got close, oh Daniel, did your God save you from the lion's den that night? The Bible said that Daniel yelled out and said, Surely, King, God closed the lines my wall yes. night long. Yes. If you look at that, it's a story about hope. Yes. Uh -huh. And who haven't heard of the phrase that the sign of a rainbow uh -huh. Amen. All right. after the storm? All right, all right. No one makes us feel better, but I come and tell you that's a symbol uh -huh. of hope. All right, all right. I don't mind telling you, my Christian friend, that life without hope 
is no life at all. Amen. All right. Now. I come at ask you, tell you that how can you dream of a future and you don't have any hope? In Isaiah, this book, this passage is in Isaiah chapter nine, verses one through seven. We find how the whole world received hope through the birth of a child named Jesus. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. But verse one said, "But suddenly there was no more gloom, uh -huh. for the land is the land was suffered, but they were not suffering anymore. Mm -hmm. For the Bible says in the past now, God made the lands of Zebulon and Naphtali hang their heads into shame because of sin. Mm -hmm. But in the future, I'm so glad that, 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 that my past ain't got to be my future. All right. But in the future, that land." It won't be made greater than sin, but great in God. Yeah. The land he talked about it stretches from the way along the Mediterranean Sea to the land along the Jordan River. Mm -hmm. And it goes north to Galilee where the people who are not Israelites. Come on now. Amen. Oh. Live. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a blessing for us yeah. uh -huh. that are not Jews. Uh -huh. Understand that in our despair, sometimes we fear that trust. I trouble with that. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to never get out of this situation. I've prayed and prayed on this situation and don't, mm -hmm. nothing seemed to change. But I come to you this morning, believe, believe with a certainty that the Lord might not choose to solve all of your problems. Right. Come on now. <laughs> but if we trust in the Lord, He promises that He will lead us safely through our problems. I don't know about you, but it sounds like a reason for hope. All right. The Bible says now those people live in darkness, but they will see a great light. They live in a place that is very dark, but light will shine on them. I'm coming to tell you, don't, don't give up. Amen. Right. No matter where you find your place. You might not have the money or the job that you won't know in this particular season, but I just come here this morning and tell you don't give up. Yes. But the Bible said, no matter how dark the place is, All right. there is a light will shine. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Understand that this verse, that light that they're referring to is Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's the only light that counts. Amen. And the apostle John even described Jesus as the light. You can find it in John verses chapters 1, verse 9. All right, all right, all right. Jesus described himself as the light mm -hmm. of the world. You can find it in John 8, verse 12. Uh -huh. I come and tell you that those walking in darkness now have a reason for hope. Yes. Don't let the devil take your job. Right, right. Zebulon and Naphtali represent the northern king. These were the territories where Jesus grew up and where Jesus ministered. Mm -hmm. This is why they were seen a great light. All right, and I'm coming to tell you that in times of great darkness, times when you can't see your way out, times you can't fight your way out, times you can't pay your way out, mm -hmm. God promised through your time that he would be your light. Amen. God promised that I will send a light who will shine on everyone living in the shadow of death. Yes. Then David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yet I shall fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff are with me. Uh, yeah, yeah, David knew the light. And this message of hope was fulfilled in the birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Christ came to deliver all people from their slavery to sin. This is a reason for hope. Amen. Understand, if you continue to walk in sin, mm -hmm. you are well, you are a slave to sin. Yeah. All right. Amen. Then Paul says, things that I want to do, I don't do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things I want to do, I find myself doing. All right. That's been a slave to sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Walking in darkness. And sometimes we can walk very dark. We can walk in so much darkness that we can't even tell who we are. But God said, it is in your darkest hour that I will, I will send you the light. My son, Jesus, shine a light in the darkest spot. Yes. I don't know about you, but I found out there's a little bit of light. Yes. Can be seen in the largest room. All right, all right. Jesus is that light. Yeah. And that's the reason that all believers should have some type of hope. Yes. Yeah. God, you will cause the nations to grow. You will make 
make the people happy. Mm -hmm. And they will show their happiness to you. It will be like the joy during harvest time. Mm -hmm. It will be like the joy of people taking the spoils one and one. Because the light has shined in times of darkness, mm -hmm. the people have hope. Yeah. Let's make it personal. Because he has shined his light yeah. on us, Pine, through our darkest days, uh -huh. through the COVID 19. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We still have hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen what the Bible said. Because the nation, because the people which make up the nation have hope, mm -hmm. the Bible scripture said they will start to prosper. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. People who have hope, the Bible said, are happy people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Happy people. I don't know about you, but you know what you know about a lot of suicides and things that like happen during the holiday during this holiday time. Yeah. When they should be rejoicing that Christ folks are taking their own lives. But if you have hope, which goes past anything that you're going through, you're happy people. Well. And the Bible said people that are happy. Who know the source of their hope? Yeah, yeah. The Bible said they know to give God praise. Yeah. All right, all Come on, somebody. Yeah. Don't you know from where all your blessings flow? Yeah. All, right. all your blessings flow from above. Yeah. Right. And if you got hope, you know how to pray. He's the one that gave you that hope. Yeah. Uh -huh. I repeat, yeah. people with hope are happy people. Amen. All right. And the scripture said that happy people compare to people at harvest time. Yeah. I don't know about you, but if you done worked the field all spring and probably set up for the fall, did all that digging, did all the planting the seeds, did all that back-breaking work, day after day, I don't know how many hours you've been up in that field. Come on now. Getting home, waiting for something to do, praying to God to bring the rain and the sunshine. Then to finally make it to harvest time. Come on. Well, all that good food is materialized. It's time to eat right now. All of your favorites. Everything pretty and green and colorful. Come on. That makes people happy. I'm happy when I'm at the table eating my favorite. Come on, son. Happy people. Uh -huh. The Bible says happy people are like people who have won the war. Uh -huh. Have you ever been fighting? Fighting? Don't even know what you're fighting for, but God, I want, I want peace. You know, I get on my knees. I pray for Ukraine. Nightly, amen. That God will give them peace and give them deliverance. I also pray that God that you 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 encourage and bless those missionaries. Yeah. Put over there at this time as a time such as this, okay. that they may bless those that are lost, that they may find that light, that they may find Jesus Christ. The Bible says, like winning a war when you got hope and taking the spoil. What I'm saying, you done won the war now, but lay before you with everything that you get on. You remember when Jesus was talking to the Israelites? He said, I gave you pots of meat and how you didn't walk into it. All you had to do was start eating. Come on, somebody. Yeah. There were dishes lined up. There was bread on the table. Hey, Amen. The garden was grown. All you had to do is take the spoil. I'm going to tell you, it's time for us to start taking and appreciating the spoils of life. But we got to have hope. Realize the source of your hope. Like the time you defeated the Midianites, you will take away the heavy load. You will take away the heavy pole from their backs. You will take away the rod the enemy uses to punish your people. I come here this morning to tell you that hope, y'all, is a powerful tool. Yes. Hope and trust in the Lord help the Israelites overcome the Midianites. Hope mm -hmm. delivered them from the heavy burdens of persecution. Mm -hmm. Hope destroyed the rod the enemy used to beat them. Remember the Israelites, they were back in slavery with old Pharaoh. Hope and trust in the Lord mm -hmm. brought them into the promised land. Mm -hmm. Don't ever lose your hope. Mm -hmm. Don't ever lose your joy. Mm -hmm. Don't let the devil tell you you're not going nowhere. I got hope mm -hmm. that on the great and solid rock. No other brown. Sink and sink. Don't lose your hope. And the Bible says that every boot that marched in battle will be destroyed. Every uniform stained with the blood 
will be destroyed. They will be thrown into the fire. Look what it's saying here in verse 5. Anybody know that hope and faith in God is a game changer? Yes. All right. I said hope and faith in God will change your situation. Hope not only encourages us, but hope will give us the victory. Amen. Trusting in God's faithfulness yes. gives us hope for the future. Oh, yeah. Simply said, God is the only reason we should have hope. For well, verse 6 says, and we all heard verse 6, a child will be born to us. God will send, God will give us a son to us. Yeah. He, and the son will be responsible for leading the people. His name will be wonderful counselor, yeah. yeah. powerful God, father who lives forever, prince of peace. Yeah. God will give us. We didn't earn him. No. We didn't create him. But God is going to give to us his son. Yeah. Remember, recall John 3, 16, for God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son yeah. that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Amen. The Bible says he's a wonderful counselor. What does that mean to us? Well, it means we can trust him in this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody. Jesus gave hope by preparing his disciples to 
share the gospel and how to lead the church. Amen. Jesus brought hope to a desperate Samaritan woman oh, yeah. at the way. Mm -hmm. right. Jesus, right. he gave hope to a powerless thief on the cross. All right, now. And Jesus All right, now. gives us hope through his death and resurrection right. for our sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible simply says he who had no sin, talking about Jesus,
died and rose again for me. Come into my heart. I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for the free gift of eternal life. In your son Jesus' name, amen. If anyone has accepted Jesus Christ this morning, through this ministry, we say welcome to the family. For Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 says you're no longer stranger, but you're family in the household of faith. Congratulations on making a life-changing decision. We recommend that you join a local church in your, in your community and be baptized. If you don't have one, we ask you if you can join Pine Island at Baptist back to church or continue to follow us on our social media. Another request is please join us on Thursday evenings at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook Live or our church conference call, 760-548-9305 for our, for our uh, online Bible study. Amen. And also at 7.30 p.m. we have our prayer call. Anybody here believe in the power of prayer? Amen. 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 We all need prayer, especially during this season. And if God has been blessing you with this me, pray for someone else. But you can join that number again, that prayer card number 760 You can join that amen at 730 p.m. God has blessed you to send, send uh, financial aid to Pine Line Glen Echo Baptist Church. It'll be a financial blessing. You can send your donation to Pine Line Glen Echo Baptist Church, located at 6502 Oxford Lane, St. Louis, Missouri. It's code 63121. Or donate on our website or the Give a Five Mobile app. Yeah. Until we meet again, to be God's will, we ask that you be blessed, yeah. be encouraged, yeah. and always pray. Amen. Amen. We ask us to come forth at this time. And as offering, we will have communion. Amen. Uh, for my Lord, uh, for my Lord, I. Somebody, of course, Secretary, somebody still taking out some information for me? <coughs> oh, okay. 